Alright, so I am playing Slime Rancher today. I've actually played it before. Like, when it first came out. So, this is a story mode. So, we are going to go ahead and play. So, what we do is we collect these little signs. I'm just going to collect all these signs real quick. So basically, when you feed them, and you shoot out, and you shoot food, they'll basically give you their poop, which is a port, and port is money, you want money. So far, it's, so it's a pretty easy game until you mix like three, like three different slime together. You can also get, get the chicken feed to them. They'll eat about just about anything. And then you can go over here, shoot them if you don't want them in in your little area. So I'm just gonna go feed all of them. That way I get more money. Or plorts as the game refers to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and gather basically everything and feed them. Um... So I only had 250 gold, so... So the easiest way to, to do this first is just to collect everything. And then we go over here and we uh, get more money. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and approve this. Yeah, I wall so they can't get out.
And now we just uh, need more. Oh, I can't go there yet. We still gotta go over here and explore. Now I do highly recommend this game if you have PC or a uh, place, I mean a PC or Xbox. Now these two are Rock Slime and Tabby Slime. I'll just go ahead and uh, feed these guys the carrots. That way I can get their floors. And I'm gonna go find some more pogo fruit because I know it's pretty much over everywhere. Now we're gonna let them eat so I can get more of their plorts. And you can suck up baby hens. I think that might be a stony hen or a some type of hint, I don't remember. It's been a while. And, uh, you can, you, you can get Largos, which is just a combination. So if you put the Tabby Slime and the Rock Slime, it'll make a Tabby Rock Slime. But if you have more than, than three, then It'll turn into a tar slime, and you don't want a tar slime. So I'm just gonna go pick up the, the tabby slimes, or the, the plorts and the pogos. Now, if I can, let's see. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna see if I can't find a uh, tabby cord or something. And that is what you do not want. That is what you car call a tar slime. And we don't want that. Not yet, anyway. And uh, over there is what we have to feed. We have to feed that a lot. So we're gonna go deposit all these plorts. And we're just gonna go have a heyday.
That is why we need high walls. <laughs> Now the tar slime can get in here and mess those up, so and they'll most likely spawn uh, at night, and it's about to be nighttime. So let's hope that little dude does not get out. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, port collector. Oh, and uh, these ones are cool because they'll turn into lightning bugs. The name's Hobson Twillagers, rancher, explorer, and former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I was a ranch for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me. So I've set off to find just that, but before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So please keep your, so keep your people's Peepers pilled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old Q has to say every now and again. Be talking to you. Alright. So I think I'm going to go deposit deposit these ports and then I'll, I'm going to end off the episode. And if you look here, uh, you can see how much gold you'll get. So... It's like a stock market, basically. So I'm gonna get 22 for the the, phos the phosphorus port. But so like the fire, it'd be 56, and it'll be a while before we can get uh, the fire. Okay, thought it would go in. Alright, so I'm gonna end off the episode. 